Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with, meanwhile, an interactive comic book. Right? So here's some stuff. Um, we get to make choices that determine how the story unfolds. Um, it splits off into thousands of little adventures. Most will end in doom and disaster. Yes! Like those old choose uh, your own adventure things. So we're gonna... We're gonna play. Yes! Time to begin the story! Alright. Ice cream. Okay. So there's some dudes eating some ice cream. Okay, I'm ready to order now. Yeah? Oh, what kind do I want? I see our first choice. We're going to go with vanilla. Here we go. Eating some vanilla ice cream. Love it. Got to grab a screeny of that. Oh, uh, yep. Got to get a close-up of him eating the vanilla ice cream. Love it. Right, and he's going to go home to his ramshackle house. And there he goes. Hi, Dad. I'm home. How was your day, son? I got a vanilla ice cream. End. Really? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so... Um, so we got a vanilla ice cream that time. This time we're going to get a, uh, a chocolate ice cream, I guess. Because there's no... Here you go. We got a chocolate ice cream. Nice. Later. Ooh, I don't feel so good. So we got sick from eating the chocolate ice cream. And we go to the factory. Kepler factory. Right. Um, knock, knock, knock. Yes. Please, mister, can I use your bathroom? It's an emergency. Oh, right. The uh, chocolate ice cream gave me the runs. Sure, it's the third door on the right. Thanks. Um, five minutes later. Wow, that's pretty short. Flushes, walks away. Oh, I got a choice. I can go home. Or, uh, I don't know, let's do whatever this one is. We're going to open the cupboard. Ooh, there's some band-aids. There aren't any band-aids. Don't know what we need band-aids for, but that's fine. So now we're going to head home. Thanks for letting me use your bathroom, mister. Anytime, and you can just call me Professor K. My name is Jimmy. Welcome to my lab, Jimmy. Oh, kill. Love it. Are you an inventor? Why, yes, I have over 150 patents to my name. Wow! Gee golly willikers! In fact, I was just about to test some of my inventions when you walked in. So, something that I am noticing that, uh, I mean, I, I always complain about this, is there's no music. We just have the, uh, the dong, dong, whenever we pick a thing. Um, I don't know. You know, just some, like, something in the background, maybe? Something. Um, would you like to help? Yes! Well, these are my oldest and most exciting inventions. There's the Kilotron 2000, my untested doomsday device. Then we have the Squid, which can transfer memories between people. And last is my time travel machine. Which invention would you like to play with, Timmy? Um, I don't know, man. Let's let's do the memory one. Let's uh, here you go. This invention is called the squid, or superconducting quantum interference device. It can transfer memories instantly. Wow! It can even transfer memories from dead people, so long as their brains are intact. How does it work? You just choose the amount of memories you want to see, put the helmet on, then place the plunger on the face, uh, forehead of your subject. Okay. Why can't I get the time frame to go past 10 minutes? You need the special access code to do that. I used to have the code written down and hidden in my bathroom medicine cabinet, but five months ago... I decided to commit it to memory so that the code would never fall into the wrong hands. Are you ready to test the squid, uh, test, uh, bleh, are you ready to give the squid a test run? Yeah, let's do it. Well, you can test it on me or on yourself. Oh, well, let's test it on me, obviously. Durr. Can I try a sample of vanilla? Here you go. Right, okay, I'm ready to order now. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, we're just playing through... All of the stuff that we just played through. The squid. Duh. Wow, that felt so real. You can try the squid, squid on me next. Sure. Access code accepted. The time machine should be ready in about 10 minutes. Last band-aid. I'd better buy some more. Who could that be? It's circle, tri uh, square, triangle, I guess. Can I use your bathroom? It's an emergency. Yeah, third door on the right. Okay. That was incredible. It was like I could read your thoughts. <laughs> Try it on myself now. 
Now it just links back in. We've already done that. Um, let's look at the time machine. Can I play with the time machine? Sure, I turned it on about 10 minutes ago, so it should be ready to go about now. Oh boy, can I visit the dinosaurs? Now hold on there. I need to explain how this time machine works. Now first of all, you can't go further than seven years into the past, which was when I first activated the receiving end of the time machine. Right, so that is uh, consistent with current time travel theory. Secondly, unless you have the secret access code, you won't be able to travel more than 10 minutes into the past. But I can just keep going back 10 minutes a thousand times in a row until I've gone back seven years. I don't even need the access code. You're forgetting it takes the machine 10 minutes to warm up. Plus, you still need the access code to turn it, in, turn it on in the first place. Please tell me the access code, Professor. I just want to see Fido one more time. Sorry, but I'd be happy to send you back 10 minutes. Um, maybe I can stop myself. Uh, sure, let's do it. Zap. Wow, it worked! Um, professor? Where are you, Professor? Flush. Why, hello there. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Welcome to my lab, Jimmy. Would you like to play with some of my inventions? Okay. It's warming up. Okay, right. Let's try... Uh, does this... So we're... Oh, crash. So we're seeing some more of his uh, memories. Ouch, I cut myself. Oh, I'm not cleaning this up. I'll just go back in time to stop myself from dropping the teacup. Square. Nice. Time machine should be ready in about 10 minutes. Right, there we go. Nice. Cool. Well, that was amazing. Knock, knock. Who's that, Professor? Hmm, I wasn't expecting anyone. I'll go see who it is. It's me from 10 minutes ago. Uh, you better find a place to hide. Right. Where are we hiding? Let's hide in... Uh... Um, there we go. Hehe, <laughs> it'll never look for me in here. Meanwhile, can I use your bathroom? It's an emergency. Sure, it's third door on the right. Welcome to my lab, Jimmy. The time machine. Nice. Ah! Okay. Wham! I know this, but I can explain everything. I'm your identical twin brother. There we go. That's impossible. I'll prove it to you. Okay. Um, about 10 minutes ago, you... Yeah. That's because you're an idiot. See, I'm from the future. Now there can't be two of us here, so I'm going to try to send you back 10 minutes. Just do as I say and step in the booth. No! Wham! Right. Um, okay. Zap! I'm just fiddling with my memory transfer. Would you like a demonstration? No, thanks. Right. Time machine time. All right. Yep, we did this. Okay. Yep. So, good luck. And so, zap. Wow, it worked. Um, we already did all that. Oh, so what are we doing now? What? <laughs> yes. Okay. So I got the code. Yeah, what? Kill. Hey, what's going on here? Just step away from the machine. Why do you have a Killatron back here? Uh-oh. Um, slam. No! Right. So we just put him into the Killatron. We just killed that guy. <laughs> nice. I can stop myself from killing anyone. Okay, I guess I can. Yep. 
Now, what was the code? I know! Oh, what? Uh... Right? I, I did learn the code. Where was it? Um... Knock, knock, knock. We went... We went and looked through his memories. Is it going to show me? No. Oh my god, it's not going to show me. It's a square, I guess. Let's 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 press the square. Uh Okay. I don't I don't actually know if this is right. So let's um There we go, and uh, another square. Right. I did, but I did know. Uh, okay, well, um, let's go look at the description for this. Uh, and meanwhile, an experimental mind reading helmet, a time machine, and a doomsday device that can annihilate the human race. Which one would you like to test out first? The classic Choose Your Path comic by Jason Shiga. Um, so it's $12.39. On the way home from the ice cream store, little Jimmy discovers a mad scientist's wonderland. An experimental mind... Re yep. Got that. Meanwhile is a comic, but not an ordinary comic. Follow the paths from panel to panel. Where the path divides, you decide where to go next. A thrilling tale of quantum mechanics and self-discovery with 3,856 story possibilities. This is a faithful adaptation of Jason's, Jason Sega's classic Choose Your Path comic book, originally published in hardcover in 2010. Our goal is not to make the comic more interactive, but to present the interactivity inherent in the story. We've not attempted to turn the book into an adventure game. There are no puzzles, except for your understanding of the story, which is entirely up to you. Just as in the physical book, you are free to browse around or even jump straight to the end if you want. The electronic medium allows us to improve the book in one way. We can take advantage of Scott McCloud's infinite canvas principle. Jason has reformatted the book's pages and taps into a single enormous spread in which the story flows in every direction at once. But what did happen to little Jimmy? So yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, it's developed by Zarf Home Software, which I haven't heard of before. Um, and they've got a couple of other games that came out in 2016, I guess. Oh, just one game. Hayden Lands. Oh, right. It's, a, it's another choose-your-own-adventure sort of game. Cool. Cool. Um... Yeah, I like it. I like the idea, I like the premise, I like the storyline. Um, it, you know, when, I, when it showed me the code, like I learned the code, um, it didn't actually show me. It just showed me that he pressed the, the one thing. So I don't actually know how I was supposed to be able to do the code, but that might be just me. Um, but yeah, that's on Steam right now. I, I think it would do better if it had some music, maybe. Um, uh, but maybe not. Maybe maybe we've just got you know we've just got a comic book with very little sound. But you know I, I like sound. I like music. I like things to happen. Um, and I'm a very sound oriented kind of guy. So uh, I'm gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below. And I will see you next time. Class dismissed.